Well, this is Vancouver as the temperature in the city hovering around the 25 degree mark, feeling even warmer. Environment Canada is warning of potentially dangerous conditions in British Columbia this weekend. A heat wave is affecting most areas of BC. As for the southern interior, where temperatures could surpass 40 degrees Celsius. So joining us with more now on the severe weather event, not only in BC, but other Western provinces as well, is David Phillips. He's the Senior Climatologist for Environment Canada. Dave, always good to see you. Thanks for being with us. Well, thank you, Michael. Nice to be with you again. Listen, uh, let's begin here with just how dangerous these kind of temperatures are. Well, they are dangerous. I mean, it's rarely do we ever forecast a record. I mean, you're gonna be wrong most of the time. And we have actually temperatures uh, in Edmonton, for example, and, and the far north, uh, we've never seen before. And, and uh, uh, maybe in a hundred some years of, of record. So from that point of view, it is, uh, it is quite uh, unhealthy, uh, extraordinarily uh, rare. Um, so a record intense heat, but also lingering. I mean, several days of it. Uh, uh, we've had, for example, in, in Vancouver, uh, you get maybe three days above 30 um, every, uh, or, or one day above 30 every three or four years. Well, they're going to see three days above 30 in this particular heat wave. And it will, in parts of the uh, uh, prairies, won't, won't uh, be gone until, until after, um, um, after July 1st. It's also early, Michael. I mean, typically the dog days of summer don't come for another month. And here at the end of June, we're seeing this uh, unprecedented, uh, historically unprecedented heat wave and long lasting and quite intense. So what's causing this then, Dave? Well, Michael, it is, um, it's what we call a high pressure area, a dome, a lid, a cap, if you may. Uh, it's sort of like putting a BC dome or Rogers Center on, on a big piece of geography out west. And, um, and it's uh, what noteworthy from a meteorological point of view is this, this dome stretches really up halfway up to the, to the atmosphere. And it is, a, it is a cap, a lid, putting a lid on top of boiling water. And inside that lid, there's no, no weather comes in. It just gets progressively warmer. And because it's high pressure, Michael, that air squeezes each other and, and, and little air, um, air molecules jingle and jaggle and, and create heat and, and it doesn't escape. That heat stays within that kind of uh, a dome. What also makes this, I think, particularly uh, difficult at this time is that, you know, the sun's energy goes to not only heat the air, and we're seeing that, but it also goes to evaporate the moisture. And uh, a good amount goes to evaporate. Well, the water levels, the moisture levels are so low in the West, uh, we've had maybe uh, ha less than half of the moisture in, in southern Alberta, for example, that they would normally have in the springtime. We've seen record dry in the Okanagan. And what happens, Michael, if that energy goes to evaporate the water, if there's no water, it just heats more of the air. And so this is why we're seeing temperatures of, of 44 degrees in the interior of BC. I mean, pro approaching the all-time record high in Edmonton, they've never seen temperatures of 37, and that's what's forecasted downtown. That's at the airport, downtown, 39 degrees. 39 degrees up at Fort McMurray. So it's stretching across uh, th uh, two Two pro three provinces, and, and, and really, really up to both uh, territories. It's, it's massive. Well, we're going to track it all through the weekend. So, Dave, thank you for this. Appreciate it. That is David Phillips, Environment Canada's senior climatologist.